Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved, and welcome back to Dredge. I've got my fishing poles, I've got my ship, I've got my cup of tea. Let's get right into it. So then, gonna have to go around here, avoiding the brain suckers, apparently. Because that's a thing we have to avoid. Oh, right. Shit. And find these... Well, first, first of all... Yeah, fi find these places. The, uh... X spots. Get their... To get the pieces of this mortar. I mean, really, he didn't even have to pull that whole spiel. He could have just said, Hey! Go get the pieces of this mortar so I can build it. And I'd be like, sure, sign me the fuck up. <laughs> the heck is this? Oh, this is probably the mortar thing. Maybe, I don't know. Yep, mortar barrel. A long barrel with an attached sight. Alright, now... What about those dog tags? No, I can't interact with that. Darn. Damn it. Metal. Sure, I'll grab it. Why not? Damn. Are those two dog tags all I'm gonna get? That'd be a shame. I'm gonna have to loot this place for dog tags and maybe get some research parts from it itself, but no, apparently not. Oh well. Uh, do we go around this way or this way? Yeah, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Ooh, maybe it does. Ooh. Are these actually obstacles? Yes, they are. Okay. Question mark, question mark, question mark added to cabin. All right. Feels like years since I have been warm. I don't expect him to write. I just need to know that he thinks of me f from time to time. He must return. I've written him another letter. This will be the last one. All right. That certainly is a thing. Aye, right, that must be one of the brain suckers. Hello. Ah, crap. Mm. God damn, these goddamn trees are getting on my nerves, blocking the damn camera. Uh, no, this is not. Damn it, I should have gone the other way. Fuck. Unless there's a way... Do they? No. Shit! I don't entirely regret going that way because I got that message in a bottle. Oh, if only I, if only I had some explosives. I really should have restocked my explosives. Oh well. Live and learn. Or die. That's always an option. I'm gonna go grab some explosives and store this. I'm still not sure what the heck that's about. Shit, I went the wrong way. Oh, whatever. Let's just keep going, why don't we? Wonder can I... Yes! Tarpon. Damn, no aberration. 
or Aberrant or whatever. Oh well. Ooh, haha! Maybe I didn't go the wrong way. What the heck is that? I guess it's not a. If it doesn't give a shit about me, alright. Well, if you don't give a shit about me, I won't give a shit about you. Story of my life. Alright. All the lumber I need for now. Here's a lodge of an old fighter plane sits amidst a mass of broken wings and wheels. All right, cool spectacles, a fancy boot, and dog tags, hell yes. Sweet, and what's this? Ah, fabric, nice. The trifecta. Maybe I shouldn't be filling my inventory so much, who knows how much the, uh, or four. Well, if I run out of space, I can always ditch some, a couple of these probably soon to be stale fish. How long does it take a fish to go stale, anyways? It's been like almost 12 hours at this point. Uh... Aha! There we go. Oh, that looks like it's going to be an awkward shape. Oh, no, okay. Mortar frame. The metallic base and frame of a portable mortar. Only slightly rusted. That's comforting. Can I... No, I can't get that. Unless I... Maybe if I go around. Yep, it's on sale. Alright, so it takes around... It does take around 12 hours, then. Good to know. I still don't know what the fuck the deal is with that. Huh? No. Damn. Bugger off! Hey, let's return. Uh, if I can find my way through this. Uh, I'm gonna take a, take a hard right here. Then I... All right, this way. All right, guy. I found my dog tags. Go. Oh, that's all of them. That's all of them. That I can remember anyways. I can't picture their faces too clearly anymore. Alright. Uh, let me just... Please that, and voila! <laughs> Versatile raw. Now what's the deal with this? 130%. That... I mean, it's better, but... <laughs> not that much better than just... Hmm. I don't know. Unless I end up with a lot of excess spa uh, fishing rod space. Doesn't seem that, use that worth it. Anyways, more importantly, I found parts of the mortar. Hmm. I found one component, but it's still missing a piece. No, I found both, idiot! Nearly there, keep looking. I... Oh, right, right. I have it in my storage. 
naturally. Don't press the mortar. That's a lot. Now, while I work on assembling the mortar, we can get started on the next phase of the plan. You may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoons here. I assembled those traps for the mine suckers. We need to lure them in there. Oh, this will be fun. Once they're in, you see, I can fire on them with our new mortar. That'll be the end of them. No more nightmares. I'll mark the locations of the traps on your map. Got it? How do we get the mine suckers into the traps? They're attracted to some very specific types of bait. Your skills will come in handy here yet again. Is it safe? <laughs> of course not. Okay, I'm, I'm asking, like, are the traps themselves safe, though? Like, can I go through them and they won't go off? Or something, I don't know. How did you make those traps? <sighs> With patience. Creatures only seem to sense movement. So when everyone was close, I froze. Alrighty then. What's, so what's next? We need to make three special baits from three combinations of fish. Why three? Wouldn't the... Wouldn't the brain suckers be attracted to the same kind of bait, or...? I don't get that. Okay then, sure. Whatever. Maybe you're just... I mean, this guy's probably gone very mad at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if he's just doing this... <laughs> for silly reasons. So it takes three fish from the area to make. Um... Don't have any of them. Alright, second. Two fish from the area. Don't have them. Hmm. Alright. God, none of them need tarpon. Alright. That one, well, I can get those fairly easily. Um. Alright. Yeah. Okay, let's store everything. Really running out of space here. Oh well. Okay, suits. Trap the mine suckers. Damn it. it, it okay. Um. Okay, I know I can get that, some of that stuff from here. Those top one are gonna be rotten by the time I actually. That's a little awkward. Fuck. Also awkward. Am I actually gonna get get any regular ones? Okay. There we go. What are the odds? So, that's crazy. Okay. Got the bait for the last one. I assume. Alright. That should do it. I'll just mix these in here, load this into a trap, then get well clear of it. When the trap springs, I'll fire upon it with the mortar. Make sure you bring back proof that that thing's really dead, you hear? Owl spilling mixture of fish and something else. The airman says this should attract the beast and twist its strand. I should be careful. Alrighty then. Okay, so second one, I need whisker fish and tiny man. This one needs tiny man, tiny man, and uh, razor. Alright, let's get started. Before we do that, we should probably sell off our burnt fish. Come on. Oh, whatever. Oh, that's just a pretty spot. Oh, hey! Ah, fuck. Oi! Um. Resilience to panic. 
Okay. A strange journey, smattered with quotes and wisdoms that promise enlightenment. But towards the end, it becomes a tedious and unrewarding slog, akin to climbing a mountain. Not a mix of relaxation and frustration. Maybe I'll read it again someday. But probably not. Uh, ah, tiny man. Fuck. Ray mullet. Heh. A plain fish, often found in sandy or muddy areas. One of the few, f one of a few species that can survive in the brackish water. All right, just need to get three of these. Sweet. Oh wow, that sounds for jack shit. Oh. Okay, I'll sell that and that. Not that. I'll have to grab another one of those fish, damn it. Oh, wait, hang on. My storage. Assuming they haven't rotted yet. No, nope, they're still just stale. Alright, good. Alright. Oh no, I'll take that with me. Okay, I need to catch another one of those fish. Uh, hopefully it's still around. Ooh. Yes, and... Wait, no, that's a, not this, no. It's this. Here we go. Gar. I think that's the right one. And how many did I need? Oh, I'll get two just in case. Now. There we go. Now let's just swing back over. Oh, no you don't. All right. Now then. Things are going great, dead pal. All right. Here you go, and bam, and bam. All right, now. Right, I forgot about this one, damn it. So what's this bo bothering me about? Uh, serpent fish. Huh. Damn, if it was a serpent, uh, Something else, I forget what it's called. Then I could, uh, uh, then I could have given it to the one guy. But now he's miles away. I'd never there in time. No way, that's sergeant fish, not serpent. Never mind. Sometimes called the snook, this drab fish feeds on anything smaller than itself, including juveniles of its own species. Friendly guy. All right. Uh, I really hope this last one doesn't require me to. Get, get out the net or some shit. Um, I pawn. Start plumbing through. Uh, oh, I just realized I forgot to actually. I forgot to grab more explosives again, and I immediately encounter. Okay. 
how very polite of the roots to just pass, to just allow me to pass by like that. Very nice of them. Okay. Okay then. That's a thing, apparently. Do I have the, uh, thing for this? Yes, alright. Probably we move away. Not yet! Boom, baby! Oh, yes! Side is obliterated a co corpse of a mind sucker. The airman will be expecting proof of your success. Pale and bloodied slab. It smells acrid and metallic. Alright, here's my pound of flesh. The rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. Sure hope I don't lose that somehow. Hmm. I'm probably gonna have to come back here during the night to actually get the remaining type of fish. Oi, open sesame. Thank you. See, a little politeness goes a long way. Ahem. Thank you. Oh wow, this, that one even went, uh, went away before I even came by. Very polite. These are the most polite uh, roots I've ever encountered. Alright, load away with the trap. Load the rocket ship with the... Load the spaceship with the rocket fuel, load it with the words. And... Bang! And... Oh yeah! Star Wars, baby! Now then. Ah, fuck. I hate how long it takes you to dock in this game. Do not want to sell those. Do not have space. Well, I can put fit one in there. Oh wait, what am I doing? Of course I have space. Hmm. You know what, I'm not finding any refined metal lately. I th maybe I should just grab and buy some. Hmm. Okay, how much does it cost again? 450. Okay, so, 450, so basically once I get to 2,000, then I'll do that. Oh wait, hang on, there's also oh. that other thing I use, the, uh, versatile rod. Hmm. Then again, there's no big hurry. I just need to buy that by the time I get to the volcanic area. Aside from be having the electronic thing, it's actually less total speed than that. But, uh, but yeah. Uh, I'll hold off on that. But yeah, I will, I will go and once I have enough cash. Hopefully I'll get like, some cash from d doing all this. Hmm. 
Hmm. I thought I'd have to explore and see if I can find the stuff. Not to be confused with the stuff from the movie. The stuff. Wait, actually, I don't know if that movie was called The Stuff. What was it called? No, oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Aha! Here we go. Fuck. Okay, catfish. Here we go. Now I can pretend to be someone I'm not. Online. Equipped with sensing barbels, this large scavenger can detect morsels hidden in the mud. Honestly, aside from the whiskers, it doesn't really resemble a cat at all. And even the whiskers don't really resemble a cat whiskers. Hang on, what? Oh, right, I see. I'm going the wrong way. It's not a very well named cat. Uh, Fish is what I'm saying. Wait, shit. Damn it. And of course it would be an aberrant. Ah, fuck. Eh, yeah, twin deal is probably worth more than a single catfish. Whatever. All right, got your last bait. All right. Okay, just one last trap. Real convenient that there's, only, that there's only three brain suckers in this entire region. Hopefully. Or maybe the rest will be scared off by them dropping like flies all of a sudden. Ah, here we go. And load it with the bait and stand well back. And clamp. And boom! Oh yeah! Star Wars, baby! And just enough room. Just as planned. Pardon me. Coming through. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Alright. Um. Yeah. Let me just uh, place that, and then oh, uh, my inventory is a mess. Ah. Crap, I was hoping to show them both all at once. Oh well. Here, creature corpse. Mm. I see it then. You hand the tattered limb of flesh to Airman. It's almost unrecognizable, but you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. 
He pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. <laughs> yes, this is one of the beasts. Progress at last. More to go, though. Oh, you got more? Drop the flesh on the ground and he gives it a few slashes with the knife. It wobbles a little. <laughs> Another one taken care of. One remains on my account. Let's finish this. Your account is raw. I have it right here. <laughs> Let's do it then. Yep, he dropped the large bloody carcass in front of the airman. His eyes fill with sadistic delight. He bends down and plunges his knife into the soft flesh. It falls away before the blade, revealing a glint of metal. With a sickening tear, he wrests it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. He recognizes it as a necklace, glistening in gore. <laughs> well, fisherman, some fortune at last. This ought to fetch a decent price from the right collector. Here, why don't you take it? A large and ornate necklace, ivory teardrops flank the central setting. An emerald trapped by four cresting wa waves. Oh my. He stands back from the corpse. A melancholic look comes over his face. Mm. And now, well, that's that, I suppose. Hmm? What do you do now? Uh. I can't say for sure. I thought I'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but this has become somewhat of a home to me. Yep, he's gotten completely mad. Doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall stay a while longer. In the meantime, I can make some special bait for you. It ought to help with your fishing. Oh yeah. I guess I've been fishing without bait this whole time then. Here, this was left over from the other bait we made. Yep, just in case I want to attract any brain suckers. Alright. So we used to attract all manner of nearby species. Hey then. Right now, we can make some fresh stuff if you like. Make some fish for me first. Any type will do. But the more you give me, the more bait I can make. Alright then. Does, it does the size matter? Is it like depending on how many squares of something? Hmm. Uh. Here, I'll give you these then. Hmm. Let me just grind these up. Won't be a moment. This is what I can make. Take it all. We'll keep here. Alright, so it's either one to one for the fish or. Two to one for the uh, amount of squares I gave it. I guess technically one to one since these are two squares. Not sure what they do, but all right. They go crazy for that stuff. Day, night, doesn't seem to matter. All sorts of fish usually show up. All right. Hmm. Hang on. What if I gave you a long fin eel? Hmm. Yeah. What? Okay, so yeah, no reason to give him any l more valuable fish than you well, uh, than you need to. Then, oh, hang on. Yeah, I have more than enough space for this, and I probably shouldn't keep more than a couple of these on hand. This is a little awkward. Wait, no it isn't. Ah, shit. <sighs> Here we go. Alright. Guess let's go over uh, to the trader and then let's do some stuff. And then let's figure out what this bait is all about. Hey, I no longer have to worry about the uh, brain suckers, I guess. Not that they were ever something I really worried about to begin with, but all right. All right. So, what's this about then? Uh, bait. Throw bait overboard. Who knows what will turn out? All right. Oh. Interesting. And yet again, I had no chance of actually getting that trophy thing. Look at that. It's just taunting me at this point. 
Ah, fuck. Okay, then. So it creates a little... What the fuck is going on over there? Oh, it's just waves, okay. This. Yeah. So it creates a little fishing spot, then, of a bunch of random stuff from that area. Neat! Close world to this body, stretching it towards an unseen dimension. Huh. And, uh, it, it can even get the ones from nighttime, by the looks of it. That's quite a valuable thing, actually. Especially considering how many fish you get for a single fish worth. That's such a- that's a pretty crazy looking fish, by the way. Look at that. And the fact that you can do this right next to the shop, so you don't have to worry about go uh, travel time. This is- this seems crazy good. Although the problem is that, well, relying on going back over here, so that's a problem. But you could just stock up on loads and loads of it. Let's see, alright. Now we need to buy the thing. Uh, from here. Here we go. Uh. And now we... Uh, uh, nail degenerates like you do a cross. Alright! Now what shape it'll be now? Interesting. Very interesting. And it moved this. That's a bit odd, but alright. Oh, and it moved this, so now I could potentially get that big upgrade to it. What'll this do? Hmm. All on this side. Funny that. Alright, and this makes sense. Actually, hang on a second. If I were to put the, uh... Now that I think about it. What does this give? Crystal Shallow Oceanic. No, it's, I still can't fit them all. Even with that. Darn. More engines is more good. <laughs> that'd be... Almost, that'd be uh, more than half again the range and almost double the lumens. In fact, uh, hmm. And I only, and I effectively only have to spend uh, two fifty on it. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll go for that. Actually, yeah. In fact, I'll just uh, now that I've got this bait, which seems crazy useful. I guess it depends on how much, like, is there how much randomness there is in like. How many things I get? Fuck. Fuck! Come on, it was on the thing all of those times! I swear you have to... You have to hit it before it goes on the thing. And that only gave two. Damn it. Okay, that's not quite as good as it was. But still, that's something. Especially since you can give it just a bunch of... A bunch of small cheap fish from the day and get a bunch of mm. night fish for your night fever. Mm. Right then. And here we go. Incandescent array. A bath lighting apparatus. Packed with shining new filaments. If only I could be become so grossly incandescent. 
Ah, I... I can't immediately tell the difference, to be honest. But oh well. I'm sure there's a significant difference. <laughs> but I'm just too plebeian to understand. Um, what am I even going for anyways? Let's see. Jeez, that's a lot of resources to get four additional spaces. I think more engine spaces might be wasteful at this point. Oh, actually. Almost certainly. Okay. Well, hang on. That doesn't seem safe, but alright. Okay. Let's go grab some resources from over there, so I can upgrade my thing, and then do some fishing with bait, so that I can, or just fishing in general, really, so that I can actually buy the engines and all that. these at the moment, but definitely will in the future, I think. I should probably at some point sleep. <laughs> so there's a weird sort of ill-defined mechanic around sleeping in this game. What is that? Did I? Hmm? What the heck is this about? You see a campfire. Some old fish are suspended on a spit over a fire that was never lit. That rhymes. A pile of fabric is gathered at the base of a large tree nearby. Run fishing in the pit. Someone must have left in a hurry. Check the bundle of fabric. A nest of rags lies at the base of a tree. Somebody slept here. The rags are covered in bark chips. There are symbols carved into the tree trunk above. There are three distinct sets of symbols. Book symbol, and then an upwards arrow. Cloud hangs over it all. Five unfamiliar symbols mark the corners of a pentagram. The shape of a person is lying down in the center. Five. Aren't there five of these relics or whatever they are? Quick symbol says above a wave. A downwards arrow points down to the wave. Okay, that's not cryptic in the slightest. Um. Hmm. That's. Okay then. That certainly is a thing that exists. I wonder if the fishing speed stuff has any effect at all on the dredging. Probably not. Seems to be at the same rate throughout the entire game. But I could be wrong. No, I cannot possibly be wrong. Ever! Man, by the end of this, this, this ship will be made more out of Driftwood than it will be actual proper materials. Driftwood and scrap metal. Damn it, I need I think I need three. Shit. Ah. Uh, and I forgot to mark the other red spots too. More metal. Uh, I can always do more metal, I suppose. Probably. I mean, I'm running at low on upgrades, but I'm pretty sure 
most of the remaining ones need metal. the wood dread spot over this way. What the heck is that? What the fuck is that? What's this? A good boulder with a small symbol platform in space. The twisted shape of a deformed fish is barely recognizable. Okay. I guess it wants fish. Or something. These fish? You want this? Okay then. Sure, whatever. Guess we're just not gonna think about it. Okay then. Oh, wait, I have explosives. There we go. And there we go. And what does this get me? Uh, attacked by a sea monster, by the looks of it. No way, that's something I can fish. Goliath tiger fish. Fearsomely predatory, this gigantic fish is also one of the most aggressive. Its teeth are so large they punch holes through the opposing jaw. Huh. Okay. Wait a second. Goliath tigerfish. Do I need to bring it to them? No, it just looks like I need to record the uh, location. Okay. Hmm. There's four of them, so there's probably one in each of the extant locations. I don't know where the snake mackerel is, though. And you know what? I'm gonna be need to be going back to Blackstone Isle anyways. I might... I, could, I might as well search by these places while I'm there. And maybe around here a bit, too. See if I can find these hidden locations. Maybe over there. Hmm. Well, not today. Today I'm trying to find just one more goddamn stick. Oh. Uh, 272. Nice. I guess. I mean, it's twice what a regular fish, uh, what a regular large fish around that size would, co would probably cost. Let me get all this stuff out of my inventory. No. Uh. Oh wait a minute! I only need two. Never mind. Okay. I don't know why I need. Uh, why I thought I needed three. Oh, and I just barely don't have enough cash. Well, that's an easily solved problem, I suppose. Okay, now let me. Uh... Don't really care about that. Don't really care about that either. Aha! Uh -huh, just enough metal. And more than enough cloth. Alright. There. Okay, I still need to get one more piece of cloth, but that's all I ever need for the rest of the game, I'm fairly certain. 
Speaking of what I need for the rest of the game, five lumber, eight lumber, eleven lumber. All right, two scrap, four scrap. So one cloth, four scrap, eleven lumber. That's quite a ratio. All right. Do I have any? No, I don't have any. I just read some money real quick. I guess. Nice. A another one. What are the odds? What are the odds? What? Why did I get all trophies? What? Entwined mullet, twisting, twitching tendrils sprout from the gill plates of this little fish. They heave in unison, moving the fish against its will. Fun. Alright. Come on. All right, cool. Three sixty-nine. Nice. <laughs> All right, and no, more one. Upgrade, and I'm gonna need hmm, quite a bit more cash, actually. How much am I gonna need? Yeah, five forty. Okay. Hmm. Oh, she sells bait for forty-five bucks. That's not that's hmm, not bad actually. Okay, that makes it even way easier because I don't have to worry about coming back all the way here every time I need it or want it rather. If my fishing speed gets high enough, it might not even be possible to get those as trophies. Mm. Right? I just turned 90 bucks into over 300. Not bad. Alright, now... A cool 19 more knots. Wait, shit. I should have bought one before. Oh, whatever. Oh, speaking of which, it's really by mm. these. And I don't quite have enough anymore, damn it. one of these and turn the rest in, into a bait. And that's the one I'm gonna sell, okay. Gleaming mullet, scales swollen into large clustered pustules. A golden liquid shimmers from within. Ooh. Neat. Oh, damn it. I hate it when it does that. All right, here we go. All right, I was in the wrong place. There we go, and sure, what bait? No, I couldn't. 
than the storage, but alright. And more practice explosives, why not? You never know when you might need to blow shit up. Alright, now let's finally... Oh yeah, that feels good. But, okay. Let's finally actually go back to the place and give him the thing. Do I have storage on there? Yeah, I've got storage on there, surely. Just in case I'm gonna take it out ahead of time. God, it's really getting on my nerves how long it takes to do that. The dock. Alright. Oi. You enter the house, carrying the ornate necklace. The collector recognizes it almost immediately. <sighs> An excellent find. It demands pride of place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps on a dusty table, candle wax pooling in its corners. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. And I suppose he'll be demanding recompense as well. Once more, he opens the book, dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud. You begin to feel weak but you're rooted to the spot. Knees on the verge of buckling. Atrophy. Instantly harvest an entire shoal of fish. I beg your pardon? As he finishes speaking, you feel blood rushing back to your legs. A strange feeling of power grows in your chest. We're so close. One more remains. I loathe to suggest it, but the abyssal plane on the approach to Devil's Plane is a likely candidate. See what you can find. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Where's from, from the book? What do they do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its power towards you. Right. Atrophy. This fa a phrase instantly culls the sh closest shoal of fish, ridding them for swift reaping. It can be heard from a great distance, so you need not be close to your victims but the population is unlikely to recover from such vile trauma. Use it sparingly. Hmm. All right. Never use it then, all right. <laughs> How do you know where these relics are? I largely don't, but I read the seeds. I see the swells that give shape to the formless. I hear the waves that whisper secrets to their witnesses. And I speak to the currents that hold a memory of all that they claim. Anything else? Are you... human? Your inquiry is met with a piercing gaze. Why, of course. As human as you are. So that's a no, then. <laughs> Cute. Hmm. The devil's fine next, then. Before we do that, we're gonna... We're gonna finish up some stuff in the other areas. <sighs> All right then, that's more than enough for today. As I said, next up we'll probably just be going around finishing various affairs and maybe nipping on over and checking out Devil's Spine if I have the time. But until then, I have been Joe Bob and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. You're gonna be okay, kid.